Five weeks after the government declared drought a national disaster, the number of Kenyans in dire need of relief services in 23 arid and semi-arid counties has hit the 3 million mark, with the number projected to rise to 4 million by July if the expected March-May long rains fail. The disturbing statistics coming against a background in which the UN has warned the global humanitarian crisis as a result of drought is the worst since World War Two. And now the Kenyan government, which is facing a budget deficit to effectively mitigate the effects of drought, has partnered with international agencies to launch a flash appeal to meet the deficit. This drought is going to be identified and remembered as one of the worst droughts that have faced this country in the recent decades. The severity in time and space it's becoming more compounded and complicated. The government acknowledging the humanitarian disaster is unprecedented in scale and impact. Amid concerns, it could spread further, says the funds will be used to offer relief supplies, including food and medicine, as well as cushion families whose livelihood were destroyed as a result of the ongoing drought. The National Drought Management Authority and the county governments and other UN agencies are working very, very closely to assess the other numbers who are now falling into this drought situation. Our fears are that going into April, if we don't get enough rains, the numbers probably will hit the 4 million mark. And what needs to be done today is to help reach these most vulnerable 3 million Kenyans at all cost in many ways that we can to reach them to alleviate the suffering that they're going through and the pain they're going through now. The government says the money will also finance Kenyans to adequately prepare to handle similar situations in future. UN resident coordinator Siddharth Chatterjee says the 17 billion Kenya shillings flash appeal complements the government's ongoing nine-month response plan, which currently faces a funding gap of 7.2 billion shillings. We have to deal with the drought. It is upon us. We can't do much with the weather. We can't turn it off like a switch. That's the reality. But the government, the partners, we are all committed to making sure that we advance the whole humanitarian perspective to this, but at the same time ensure that we start building in longer term durable solutions so that we don't have a repeat of this again four to five years later. The UN says the third consecutive year of unreliable rains is causing thirst and hunger decimating livestock, destroying livelihood, spreading disease and triggering conflict and displacement. The flash appeal will be revised in three months based on the findings of the long rains between March and May. Beatrice Gatonyengetich, Channel One, News Hour.